Hello, everybody, and uh, <clears throat> welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. As you can see here, this is my new little custom thumbnail that I created in paint. I just threw it together at like, you know, like five minutes ago. I thought it was a, uh, thought it was pretty funny. I thought it'd be pretty cool to, you know, put together something, you know, that we could start off each and every video with. Something like this. And my paint skills are not that great, but you know, I did what I can. I think it's okay. Um, let me know what you guys think of it, and we're just going to go ahead and get started here with Isaac. Alright, uh, I like Isaac because he has the D6 and the reroll capabilities. That's money bag, or sack of pennies, whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter. I'm going to reroll it. Skeleton key, yes, better than a uh, sack of pennies. Definitely. Now that we got skeleton keys, we can open up everything all the golden chest oh whoa uh, yeah it got stuck on the poop that was completely my fault guys but yeah we can open up all the golden chest all the item rooms all the shops all everything it doesn't matter nothing really matters you know the Metallica song and uh, we're just going to fire in some more shots and hopefully not get hit just going to turn the game volume down here a little bit. Okay. Um, we're down half a heart. Oh, no, we only have two hearts. So, I'm not going to look for the secret room. I'm not going to spend time backtracking and getting that heart. I'm just going to fight Pin here. This will give us a reroll, too. So, that's cool. <laughs> Pin, dude, what are you shooting at, bro? I'm over here. That's more like it. Oh, gosh. I can't believe I actually took damage against Pin. Um, what are we looking for? Mainly damage upgrades. Um, I've proven in the past that I can beat Isaac on very little health. Or I can beat, you know, not the whole game Isaac, but I can beat the boss Isaac on very little health. So, you know, that, uh, it bodes well for us. So... Um, I like damage upgrades. That's what I want the most. We're going to speed upgrade, going to re-roll it, and that is a range upgrade. So, basically a net gain of fucking zero. I didn't really need a range upgrade. I thought my range was already good. Plus, we can get range upgrades from... Oh, shit. <laughs> I've had... Th this will be the third time in a row that I've gotten quad shot. Now, the thing is, do we want to take it or do we want to re-roll it for something else? I mean, quad shot... Ah, it's so good. It's so good of an item. I love it. Let's get it. Let's get quad shot. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it, this item keeps showing up and I, I can't help but take it because it's just... Oh, gee, what the hell? Did you guys see that leap of faith that that guy just pulled? Die, please. But yeah, the quad shot is so good of an item, man. I don't necessarily want to give it up, you know? I don't want to give you up. don't want to let you down. Don't want to tell no lies to hurt you. So, with Quad Shot, um, there's some items that we need now to augment Quad Shot to make it a better item. And that would be, of, of course, more damage. Because Quad Shot, the reason Quad Shot does so much damage is because it's four shots. Um, let's see what we have in here. The ladder. That could uh, be re-rolled if we get the money. I'm just going to walk around it right now. But, yeah, the reason Quad Shot's such a good it's it's powerful because it's four shots you know but each one of those shots has the equivalent to your base damage tier you know like um we didn't get any damage upgrades so our shots are as powerful as it was on the last floor we just have uh, three more of them if you if you guys know what i'm saying i could just be nonsensical rambling but i'm trying to put my point across here I'm gonna drop a bomb in here Oh, shit. Of course, of course the secret room wouldn't be right there. Just going to uh, pretty much keep it away from these guys. Mostly kill the champion. There we go. Ooh, there's another bomb. That means another chance that we could look for the secret room. Ooh, there's two more chances. Okay, that's cool. I don't really uh, want to waste all my bombs, you know, just in case we end up uh, finding a tentadrock. That's awesome. That is a... Uh, nickel 
Oh, I almost. Oh, that's a spirit art. That's even better than a nickel. Ah, oh, shit. I thought I put that out. Yep, I'm dumb. And there we go. Uh, what do we got? Yes. And uh, we have enough money to go to the shop now. And <laughs> the thing is, the ladder's a good item, but there's better items in the shop. So I think I'm going to re-roll it and see what we get. And if it comes back to bite me in the ass, so be it. Hopefully it's like a nun's habit. Map. I'll take a map. Map pack, map pack. You guys remember Dora the Explorer? <laughs> I see, I, I seen a picture on iFunny the other day. It was um Dora the Explorer, like, all grown up, and she was Consuela the maid from Family Guy. Oh shit, some terrible enemies we got going on here, but I think, well, I guess that range upgrade did kind of help us out in that room, so we didn't have to get close to those fuckers. Let's get back up to full health and let's go fight our boss, which is Monstro, D a double red Monstro. This is going to be absolute shitty. And of course, our bomb didn't hit him. Well, at least it's not double red Monstro 2. And there's one dead. And uh, let's just stay away from him here. There we go. There's two dead. I'm gonna reroll that. Another fucking range upgrade. Let's see what we got in here. The nail and Sister Maggie. <laughs> uh, if I had more hearts, Satan. If I had more hearts. Let's go on down. We done exhausted all this floor, so we can't do anything else. Oh, shit. One second, guys. Okay, that was uh, that was my dad, and uh, we was um, talking about uh, going hunting. So, that's is that that's mom's contact. That means we fire out of both sides of our head. It's not the best item. Oh, oh, that's none habit. We gotta we gotta get in our secret room. Hopefully, it doesn't hold something stupid. Let's go fight uh, this room. Oh, it's a greed head. A single greed head poses no threat to us. Get in our secret room. Oh, yes, we're going to get nuns, habit. And uh, we will re-roll mom's contact. I do see the tinted rock over here. A single spirit heart. Oh, shit. Come on. I wasted my last bomb for one spirit heart. I wish I can get that thing. All right, uh, let's pick up Nun's Habit. Now, if we run across, let's say, a library, we can exhaust all the items in the whole game, which would be cool. Now, the thing I don't know about, uh, ooh, 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 about Mom's Contact is um, if, it's, if it does like the quad shot behind us. I mean, I don't know if that works together, but I don't really feel like, you know, testing it out today. I don't really need it. I need a health upgrade. I need damage upgrade, all stats upgrade, something like that, something cool. That's the wafer. Damage resistance. Okay. Um, I didn't know what the wafer did, and I just picked it up anyways. Damage resistance. That means, oh, shit. Okay. I know what the wafer does. Whenever you get down to uh, the the um, the shop, or, oh my lord! My gosh! Now that is, that's a terrible room right there. Um, but whenever you get down to uh, the womb, uh, it still only does half a heart. I do believe. I do believe. So that's pretty cool, you know. Um, we'll be taking less damage. It means a higher rate of survival. So yeah, the the wafer, solid item, so far in my book. Uh, oh, 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 Is it uh, better than a damage upgrade at this point in time? No. Damn pathing, fucking bullshit. Boom. And boom. 
Uh, let's go and fight all these freaking greed heads here. Of course, of course. Joke's on you, greed heads. I don't have any money. Uh, greed heads are kind of... I'm starting to hate the greed heads more than I hate the malls. I could actually uh, fight off the malls now. Would you die? Good. How did we... How did we take damage there? I was... Oh, shoot. Good gosh, this is, uh, this is terrible. I don't have any bombs. Don't... <laughs> we only have, um... One heart. Can we fin... Can we fight this boss? It's Pestilence. Probably... Pestilence, um... Please blow up this Tinterdrock. Up here. Blow it up. Ah, oh, shit. What the f... Uh, that's the first time I've ever seen him do his mega ultra attack. Ah! Now, if we can get over there and get to that spirit heart, we have a better chance. Okay, yes. Alright. Now, we just need to, uh... Pretty much just, um, avoid the silkworms and avoid his giant-ass bombs. And hopefully he doesn't do his, uh, spirit bomb attack on us anymore. Okay, now he won't summon any more of these fuckers. And he pretty much killed them all. Thanks, Pestilence. Thanks for being a dumbass. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh, this fight was... Coming into this fight was a little bit harrowing. Uh, we did have... We didn't have a lot of health, and of course we get Cuba meat. Of course. Of course. You know, let's go on down to the next floor. Um, I was just taking just pretty much stupid damage. And I'm just gonna make that guy go that way. Make this guy come up here and over. All these three. Get them all going. Kind of like the... Oh! Whoa. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Ah! I didn't know where to go. I was... I was dumbfounded. Let's, uh, see what's in here. This is the caves part two. Still, I'm, I'm clicking the bomb button, but nothing's happening. Because, you know, I don't have any fucking bombs. You know? Would like it if that mall would die. Going to, yeah, now that was a, that was a well-timed shot right there. Girls go crazy for a sharp-dressed man, is what I've heard. And I am a sharp-dressed man. Uh, that's Peeper's Eye. Hmm. Huh. Do we take Peeper's Eye or... Do we take Peeper's Eye or do we re-roll it? Alright, let me just... Let me think, guys. Let me think. Ah, oh, jeez. This is... Because I like Peeper's Eye. It does a lot of damage, but it doesn't hit a lot. Alright, you know what? Let's do... Oh, fuck. We're gonna we're gonna get another reroll. Oh well, yep, yeah, that's cool. Oh, double kill, double kill. Gonna fire a couple shots like diagonal ways. Boom, boom. <laughs> I love the uh, shot mechanic on this game. That push pin. It occasionally gives us. Spectral tears. All right, we need uh, we need a heart real bad. Hopefully that champion will pay out with a heart or a couple hearts. I'm just gonna keep on keeping on, you know, uh, the old Joe Dirt motto, of course. <laughs> paid out with a key that we didn't even need. All right, uh, HP upgrade would be cool. Lard would be good. Um, meat. Now is that the active item? No, it's not. Hey, at least we got five bombs. Let's go open up our secret room. And at least we got, like, mega, super, ultra, mega bombs, you know? Bob's rotten head. Ooh, now this gives us a potential for a reroll item. Let's go take it and then do this for, with it. Wah! Let's go this way. 
Fistula. Uh, fistula's pretty good with quad shot. Usually, I was gonna say don't take a lot of damage, but I guess uh, don't count your chickens before they hatch, or however that saying is, because two chickens could be, uh, you know, in one egg or something. I don't know how it goes. I know that uh, we are very close to death. Demon judgment. Oh, fuck you, dude. Uh, a couple, or, um, in a couple runs ago, uh, I basically just fucked myself with demon judgment. I'm going to kind of take out these guys first. Kind of playing it safe. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, Cuba meat. So good. So good. Such a good item. Wow. You know. <laughs> um, let's uh, go reroll. Hopefully we get something awesome like uh, Mom's Knife. Unicorn Horn. Again, uh, pretty shit. Well, not really. Unicorn Horn's actually an okay item. But compared, you know, all things considered, we need something else. And I can't believe we actually have made it this far on... Basically one heart, and the game's just pretty much fucking us with the drops. Like, oh, you want a heart? Not <laughs> too bad, we'll give you a key that you already have to 157 of. And again, this room is pretty shitty. I'll, uh... Okay, okay, whoa. Come on. I can't believe I, I've... I've not taken hearts? Yes, now that. Oh, gosh, I feel so, so much better. You guys have no idea. All right, there's our shop and our boss room, so. Uh -huh. Huh. Oh, no! Another key. Yeah, thanks, because, ooh, battery nuns have it. <laughs> this is uh, getting a little bit redonkulous, but we don't have enough money. So if we get a pageant boy from the boss fight, that'd be cool. I'm not going to fight the boss right now. I'm going to go get another reroll for our secret room. Would have had it sooner, but I didn't get hit. Ha ha ha. I can't believe we still, I mean, we don't have... We can go to hell. All right, one Alice Who's guy. That'd be a pretty easy floor to get uh, our reroll back on. Ooh, and there's another bomb. Ooh, piece of candy. Ooh, piece of candy. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, what was your guy's reaction to when Brian died on Family Guy? It, was, it made me really sad. Just, the, you know, just remembering. That's a one-up. I've taken one-up so many damn times. I kind of don't even want to take it. You know what, uh, we're playing it fast and loose here today. Even if uh, we die on, you know, even if we die before we get to mom, oh well. You know, this is just the way I'm going to play it. Bitch. But, uh, yeah, it made me really si sad because, you know, I thought, you know, taking or all the memories that Brian has provided us over the years, all the laughs and funnies. and You know, Brian, he changed a lot as a character. Especially in the, uh, like, in these past couple seasons, he changed into, like, a, like, a, an atheist dog that's, you know, was a environmentalist bitch. We all know those people. I'm not, I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm not saying that you're wrong, but I'm saying that he changed as a character. And we all know some of those people that like to protect the environment, that like, or that, uh, don't believe in God or anything. And, you know, that's, I'm not... I'm not here to judge. If you are an atheist, it's, I don't care. That's It's your life. That's the onk. It's another damn life. <laughs> it's another damn life item. But yeah, I'm not here to judge. And, but like I was saying, he changed. And I don't think America really liked him very much anymore after that. Uh, you know, I, I kind of disliked him. I'm not going to lie. Not... He just was a, a pompous asshole, really. But, no, it doesn't change the fact that he he was funny. He was Peter's best friend. He he was always there. Uh, that's Matchstick. Yes, we're going to get Matchstick. And, uh, you know, it's, he was there from season one. And, like I said, he was funny. Whoa, thanks, Cube of Meat, for basically saving me 
some really stupid damage. Thank you, Matchstick, for proccing that. Mm, what else? What else? What else? What else? I was I lost my train of thought about Brian. Um, talked about his character development. Talked about uh, he was always there. Mm. Uh, you know what? I I lost it. I lost it. Sorry, guys. Lost it. Ooh, thanks, keeping me. Ah, oh, fuck. And there we go. That's our first dumb damage in a while. I I'm trying to think about what I was a. Uh, what I was, um, there we go, um, I was trying to think about what I was trying to say, but it's lost, I'm sorry, oh, I just wanted to ask how you guys took his death, and, oh shit, I hope that opens it up, oh, thank god, uh, well, apparently we're just gonna get the one up then, because fuck us, right, <laughs> um, how'd that impact you, I think it was done, you know, it's everybody says, uh, or I, I know a couple people say, well, he's a he was a good character. Why didn't they make his death better? He's a dog. Dogs get run over by cars all the time. That's that's how it happens. And I know that's sad and everything. I've had a dog get hit by a car, and it's really really sad. And I think maybe that's what they was trying to go for is uh, maybe the family Stewie. Stewie, uh, losing his best friend, pretty much, and, you know, there's a bunch of conspiracy theories out now that I will talk about in one second, I gotta check my phone, okay, uh, we're back, I'm gonna go fight our boss, sorry for the inconvenience, uh, this is, oh, okay, uh, if we can get, oh, well, thanks, Cuba Meat, again, all right, let's get, uh, let's get Chubb to come at us, bro, boom, and we got Mr. Mega, so our bombs do extra damage here. This is all, oh, jeez. Jeez, jeez, Louise. Come on, Chubb. Come at me, bro. Come on. Boom. Oh, whoa. Came out of the gate swinging. Oh, whoa. He almost got me with that uh, overhand headbutt. Overhead headbutt, I guess you could call it. <laughs> yes, now that's a tears and HP upgrade. We're still not firing very fast, but it doubles as a damage, or it's tears, HP, and damage. I was gonna use this, but we used all our bombs in the Chub fight, so hopefully Matchstick will give us some bombs here in a little while. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Ah! This is the most terrible shit. All right, spider, just don't make this, don't make this shitty. Okay. There's a bomb up there. I'm just going to. <laughs> Our sp <sighs> I think, uh, I think it's a in our best interest if we, holy shit, fuck that room. Fuck Isaac right now. Good God almighty. Well, we got one up, but still, a room like that should not exist. Oh, yep, there we go. Because, uh, fuck us, right? Yeah. We're gonna go up. Uh, we can't even go to the bottom of the screen right now because... Ah. Uh, I'm just, I'm so flu My jimmies are so rustled. Right now. We can't even go to the bottom of the screen without fear of taking a shit ton of damage because our we're just so slow, you know? Let's get them all firing upwards except that one over there. Hopefully it doesn't have the range to hit me. Okay, there's that guy. That guy here. We're going to get them all firing upwards. It's nice. Oh, 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 oh. These guys do. Oh, wait, we got the wafer, so they only do half a heart. Yes. All right, we got a spirit heart there. Oh, well, uh, yep. This is uh, going to be terrible. I'm going to actually... Don't have any fucking bombs to get those three bombs. 
I don't have a single bomb I could get, or two bombs, that is. I just try to throw these over here. Oh, whoa. Die. Good gosh, these guys are hardy enemies. Three bombs. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is, uh, this is one hell of a run. Right, guys? One hell of a run. Hopefully everything is over towards this side of the screen. I would, uh, hate it if... Of course. Of course. Of course we're not doing, uh, near as much damage as we should be here. It's taken us just so damn long to kill these enemies. Alright, there's one bomb. We're definitely gonna go back and get the three bombs. So that's like a two bomb gain. You know what I'm saying? It's simple mathematics, guys. Come on. Alright, so three bombs. There we go. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna go down. So I'm hoping the item room and shop are over to the left as well as the boss room. That's just... Oh, well, there's the shop. Got some leapers here. It's going to do some... There we go. And he should be dead. Thank God for Cube of Meat. We're taking some ridiculous amounts of damage here, guys. Oh, great. Yeah, that's cool. Well, at least he'll give us uh, some more money for later shops. Or, you know, he can give us the Steam, Steam Sale. I always call it the seam sale for some reason. Summer seam sale. Get all your uh, sewing kits half off. There we go. And uh, we have 12 cents. That's not really enough to make the, the shops worthwhile. Fuck, yeah, of course. What is this? Bad gas. Alright, well, our boss room is down here, but... Thank you, dude. But, sadly, our item room is not. Our item room is over there in that fucking shitstorm. I'm just gonna go and fight the boss. Oh, shit, it's Mask of Infamy. We're dead. This is uh, the end of our run, pretty much. Oh! And uh, I'm fine with it. Uh, maybe, maybe if... Um, if the Isaac gods seem fit to, they will uh, see that I beat this boss. Which, you know, I mean, this boss is quite literally one of the hardest bosses in the game. I, I think this boss is harder than the Isaac boss fight, really. I know that's uh, kind of uh, shitty to say, but it's like, it's the pathing like that that really just pisses me the fuck off. The last time I fought this douche... He had, um, he had, uh, or I had poison damage, and then that's what really hurt him. Get away from me! Ooh, okay, there's, uh, there, oh, and there you go. Anyways, guys, uh, let's see how long this video is. Oh, it's only 28 minutes long. Well, this is gonna be one of my shorter, one of my shorter Isaac Let's Plays. But, uh, look at that. Look at that awesome paint skill right there. That is just great so you know uh, I'd appreciate it if you uh, give me a like down there and um, hit up the comments I always like writing you guys back I'm very fan orientated share this video with your friends if they're looking for a good uh, Isaac let's player and hopefully with uh, your help your friends help and your friends friends help and uh, everybody else in the whole world we can get some decent subscribers and be all like cool up on YouTube and stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm Cody, or Extras Do Erden, whatever you want to call me, I don't care, and thanks for watching.